So we're going to move to this next challenge over here called Intro to Burp. So this is a web exploitation challenge. It's called Intro to Burp. Uh, unfortunately, we can't solve this challenge using the using our our web shell. I'm going to nano over here just so that I don't get kicked out while I'm solving this challenge. So it says additional details will be available after launching your challenge instance. So we're going to click on this button right here to launch our challenge instance. It's going to check just a second. What, one great thing about Pico CTF challenges is that the VMs initialize very quickly. So we're not uh, waiting around for a long time. So it says, now it says, try here to find the flag. So I can, so I'm going to copy this link for everybody. I think everybody can use my challenge or or maybe you should be using your own your own challenges because it might the, the flag might be individualized. So you should probably not use my link and you should use your own link by uh, creating your own virtual machine. But uh, I'm going to go into here and it says registration. Okay, so full name, you can put anything in this, inside of this web page. But uh, what we really should be doing is we shouldn't be solving the challenge here. We should be solving the challenge inside of Burp Suite because the challenge is called Intro to Burp and Burp Suite is, uh, is a very powerful piece of, um, it's a very powerful web application proxy tool, I guess proxy, and, uh, and it's also, it's also a vulnerability um, scanner, and it does a lot of other stuff. But uh, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need you're going to have, need to either have access to Burp Suite on uh, on your host machine, your regular OS, or you're going to have to use uh, Kali Linux, which is it's also a man in the middle device. Correct. So if you're using Kali Linux, you can go over here and you you can in the in the search screen, you can search for Burp, and there will be one button over here, which can which you can press on, and Burp Suite Community Edition, which is installed on Kali Linux, will start up. So when you reach this screen, you're just going to want to click on Next and then Start Burp. Okay, so after you've uh, started up Burp. What you want to do is you want to click on the proxy tab right here. So proxy is next to dashboard and then target and then proxy. And from here, you're going to want to make sure that intercept is off. So sometimes in some versions of Burp, inter intercept is set to on. Um, if this is on, it's going to mess up your it's going to mess up your uh, your workflow. So you're going to have to make sure that the intercept is switched off. You can switch it on and you can switch it off. And then you want to click on this button, which is called Open Browser. So Open Browser is going to open a Burp Suite connected web browser. So Burp Suite has its own Chromium browser, um, which you can access from inside of Burp Suite. And the Burp Suite browser is uh, much easier to work with than uh, working with proxies, uh, web, web browser proxy programs. Which is uh, which was the traditional method of using Burp up until maybe a few years ago, but now Burp Suite has its own built-in browser, which is connected to Burp Suite, which is much more convenient. So the web browser does take a little while to initialize. Okay, so now this time it works. So this time it works. We are uh, we're in our port sorter page right here. I'm going to grab. I'm going to grab the uh, the website over here, and then we're going to go back to the Burp Suite browser and paste in the URL. So inside of the Burp browser, what we can do is we can just do tests for everything on this page, and so everything is test, and then click on register. And on this page, it, it says 2FA authentication. 
So what we're gonna to need to do is we're going to send a test over here as well. Okay, and it says invalid OTP. So how do we get past the OTP? Well, I'm not, uh, I'm not, a, I'm not ashamed of, uh, of using some hints on the challenges, uh, especially if uh, they're just given to me. And in this case, there are two hints over here. Hint number one is try using Burp Suite to intercept request to capture the flag. And hint number two is try mangling the request. Maybe their server-side code doesn't handle malformed requests very well. Okay, so this is uh, this is the key to solving this challenge. So back inside of wait, we're not using we're not going to be using the uh, the Burp browser anymore. Uh, we're instead we're going to go back to Burp Suite, and inside of Burp Suite, there's uh, inside of Proxy, there's a tab called HTTP History right here. Click on that. And it's going to, these are all of the, um, the requests that we sent through the Burp browser. So we can click on the number sign over here. So the very last request that we sent uh, was this post request to dashboard. So we can click on that. And we see here, this is the, uh, the post HTTP request to the, uh, to the OTP where we were trying to send the OTP request to, to, the, to the server. And you note here that it says OTP equals test. So this is what we sent to the browser. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start playing around with this. So we can do that by right clicking on this window and we can send it to the repeater, uh, which is this option right here after you right click. Otherwise you can use the control plus R short keyboard shortcut. So click on that. And then we can go back up to here, the repeater tab. So it's target, proxy, intruder, and then repeater. So click on repeater. So over here inside of the response, so we can send this to just get a baseline for what happens here. So if we send this message over here as it is, it's going to say the response is gonna be invalid OTP. And we can actually render this inside of this response portion of the window to make it look like a web browser by clicking on from pretty to raw to hex to render over here. And it just says invalid OTP, that's the response. So here, what we're trying to do is we're trying to mangle the request. So instead of OTP equals test, uh, we can just say, we can do anything else, garbage. Garbage equals test. And then send that. And so the, uh, the, the, the web app, lets us bypass the, um, the OTP because we're not sending the correct information over here. All right, so it says, welcome test you successfully bypass the OTP request. Your flag is this, and this is the way we, the way we um, finish this challenge. So I'm gonna go back to pretty over here, and, and this is gonna let me copy the flag over here, copy that and then go back to the challenge webpage. So intro to burp, we can paste in the flag over here and then click submit flag. Okay, so that's intro to burp done. So don't forget to click on the thumbs up. This is not a very well rated challenge. I thought it was okay, but uh, click on rate positive if you appreciate the challenge. And then we're going to move on to our next challenge. Hey there, Hacker Frogs! Are you enjoying this workshop? Learning new concepts and skills? If so, there's a way you can support the channel. And it's totally free. Just click on the subscribe button below the video. Also, click on the like button. And if you have questions or comments on this workshop, please leave them below the video. Thanks for listening. And now, back to our scheduled programming.